And then you start seeing it in the 50s and 60s that the protons and neutrons are made of smaller things called quarks. And so we discover those. That we've not discovered anything smaller than that, by the way. Is it because you don't have so, enough energy to bust well, up a quark? Yes. Well, well or, or to resolve what's inside it, let's say, to build a microscope. Because right now, the inventory of fundamental particles includes quarks. Yeah. So somebody so, saying that's fundamental, which sounds a little like the Greeks it, uh, saying atoms are fundamental. Oh, no, well, they, they won't be fundamental. You're absolutely right. But, uh, but they look point-like from the, from the point of view, that, from the energies that we can generate today. But that, that's one side of particle physics. So we've been exploring the structure of matter, which is historically, you know, it goes back to Rutherford, I suppose. And again, you have confidence that when you break matter apart, you didn't break the matter. You're just deconstructing it. Yeah, you, you, it really, I think the way to think about it, I mean, you think about what a collision is. So let's say you collide, as we did at, in my PhD, electrons and protons together.